What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Brown Band here. I wanted to pick up an office chair. Hey, actually, I had my buddy John come and he had to actually do some work at the table in the, my guest bedroom. And so I wanted to get a chair so that he could do that, make him nice and comfortable, something really ergo. And I could have gotten a Vork chair, but I decided to get a Top Vork chair. So this is kind of your office chair. It comes in this nice box and it's pretty big and we are going to definitely have to do some assembly. Everything looks like it's in here, but it is all individually bubble wrapped. So the arms, looks like we have a box of hardware. We have the seat cushions. We have a headrest. I mean, this is a pretty, pretty complex, pretty in-depth chair, aluminum base. So I'm gonna get everything unpacked. I've got everything unboxed and unwrapped here, and I will tell you right off the bat that everything about this is pretty nice. So I really love, it's kind of like that Herman Miller air on chair. Uh, you know, it's just kind of this mesh fabric, nice and thin, it looks great. Even the headrest here, which I wasn't expecting. And then kind of some of the small details, like on the arm rest here, which is plastic and probably very comfortable. We have some like chrome-like accents, even the hardware down here that you won't see because it'll be under the seat pad is pretty nice. And then I love this kind of brushed finish, kind of this, you know, slightly, yeah, I mean, it's slightly brushed uh, finish of the base. And then there is the seat mechanism and then we have casters and the cylinder. So it should be pretty straightforward to put together. Now I'm gonna save you some frustration a little later. I wish they had a little sticker up here that said front. What you can see is that you get a little kick up here or kick down depending on if it's oriented the right way and a curved edge and this curved edge is the front of the seat. You can see that the back part is really kind of straight and that's going to be where the back butts up again. So you just want to make sure that you're orienting it for the curved portion of the cushion and you've got those arms Kind of pointing forward so that's going to save you some hassle if you put everything on and then realize you're going to have to flip them which i did got those on they're actually pretty easy to install looking good already now i'm going to take the uh chair lifting mechanism here and line it up with the four holes and then you're going to use the short screws and that's the only bag you have left with smaller like screws i think there are four of the short ones in here because the only other big one are the big screws and I think you're gonna use those for the back here. So we'll pull out the shortest screws out of here and screw it on. All right, we're cruising. Don't forget that the handle should be facing to the front of the chair. Now we're going to install the back here and that's gonna screw on here and we're gonna use the three big screws which comes with its own Allen key. So let's get this thing installed. Now the bar, the support for the back actually slides underneath the metal brace here and then the screws go through it and tighten it down now all we actually have to do is take this back one there's only two screws that go through those two little holes up here and screw onto the back of here so we're going to use two uh, of the screws and attach that and man we're getting close that installed now i think all i do is just drop it on this post kind of line up that hole there and i think it should be almost ready to give this thing a full review Look at that. Let us take a close look at it. I love this chair. It's pretty awesome as I kind of give you a tour. I mean, it's got all high quality parts. I love this mesh back. It's really comfortable in this fabric mesh uh, cushion down here. But I, what I really love is this headrest. So many don't have it. And again, it's mesh with kind of this polyester type of frame here. As you can see here, it has a little uh, hinge so you can angle it, you know, get that to the right fit. The uh, arm here actually moves up and down. There are some little detents in there so you can move it down or up and it'll stay in position, which is super nice. I love that too. Down here on the back, we have a lumbar support so you, you can loosen it or tighten it, which kind of, if you clockwise it, it pushes that out so you'll get more or less support. But then the other thing is you can see it's on a track here so I can move it up or down so you can get that right to wherever you want it. And that is pretty awesome too so that you can make those really fine adjustments. And so actually from a feature set, it's as good as any of the super high-end chairs that I've seen. Now, 
this uh, frame here, this like plastic rigid frame is super robust. I mean, I'm really <laughs> impressed with that. I'm surprised it's not heavier than it is. Now um, on the arms here, you can see we have little chrome surrounds and then these switches will allow you to lift up or uh, lower the armrests, which is really awesome. But then on top of that, the armrests here, which are kind of a soft padded plastic, you know, not only move fore and aft. So if I can do it without swiveling the chair here, so you can see they kind of move forward and backwards so you can get a nice angle. They also twist so that you can kind of captain chair them in and bring them in and push them forward so you can find a nice adjustable um, position for everyone. And then you have all your normal seat controls down here, up, down, lock, forward, back. And so, man, just sick. And it looks amazing. So I will say it wasn't hard to put together, but man, I think that is as good looking of an office chair as I have ever seen. It was pretty straightforward to put together. Take my tips, make sure you orient the bottom cushion the right way to begin with. But man, this thing is sick and it's not that expensive. So I will put a link to it. You don't need a Vork, you need a top Vork. Link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. Thank <laughs> you.